Hey, it's Pastor Mike on a bike, mm -hmm. um, riding in through, I think, some of the most beautiful country in Oregon. And as I went by, I saw Earl checking his mail, and I stopped to talk to him a little bit. Uh, Earl is a Vietnam vet. Uh, he has served our country in the Navy. He has served it with distinction. Um, we have a great, we live in a great country. And it's a great country because we have great men like Earl who have sacrificed himself and uh, uh, was injured in Vietnam. In fact, uh, uh, gave his right hand for this country. Earl, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you and it's a, just a pleasure to uh, know you. Thank you, thank you. And uh, as I ride across this beautiful land, I'm just, I'm just praying for our country. Um, uh, is there anything that we can pray with you about? Not really, no. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, so um, we're hunting, you know, but I guess so many, so many kids and different things. That's I do go with them on hunting, uh -huh. uh, deer and stuff. You hunt? You go hunting in this cut uh, up in this area? Not anymore. It, it just, uh, it just uh, uh, shoot. Uh, it's so many people come in here and they'll they'll shoot them dig on deer and stuff, and they won't even pick them up. That's the bad thing. Yeah. And uh, so I don't know. Okay. Well, well, you're a great American, and uh, and uh, you've served our country well. And uh, I think everybody watching this would want to say thank you so much for uh, um, for your service to our nation. We salute you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Yep. Take it easy. It's, it's a good place to do what you're doing. Hey, horses! <sighs> Climbing up 1,500 feet this morning. Uh, my water was almost gone, and what little I had was warm. And uh, I come upon this hill, and look! These people left me uh, water to drink. How cool is that? And it's cold! How refreshing is that? That was just, that was just cool. You know, the Bible says that if you give a cup of cold water to a child, um, you will not lose your reward. And uh, I came across um, what's Cherie. 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 <laughs> and uh, this is so neat because they're, they're giving out water to the bikers and they're doing it in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so what a wonderful way to just share Christ and the love of God with, mm -hmm. with bicyclists, whether, whether they know the Lord or not, um, you're, you're just, sharing the love of Jesus yep. so um, so why why do you do this <laughs> well we see the need we see cyclists come by here and they don't realize you know the elevation and how far they are from Mitchell and there's just no water stops in between and um, uh, in Mitchell there's a ministry that recommended hey if you could just give a cup of cold water that would be a blessing and so that's what we do this is so nice this is so great and so um, we're traveling across uh, the Pray Across America tour, um, praying with people. Is there anything we can pray with you about? Huh. <laughs> and those at home can pray with us. Well, Ochoco Christian Conference Center um, is a ministry that we're here to support the church worldwide, local, um, to provide a place where people can come away and um, just break away from the everyday and experience what God has been trying to get through to them all the time, but we get too busy. Um, we're for groups, not individuals. Um, and because of COVID, we are shut down. We've lost over 80% of our income for um, 2020. And this is just year three of this new ministry. You can find out more on um, ochacocamp.org if you are interested. Um, so just pray for, you know, God's been providing and just wisdom in how and when to open. It is our heart to still be able to do our youth camps that are supposed to happen in August. At this point, the law won't allow us. Um, it'll allow us to do family units only, um, which we have 
one week of family comp camp out of a summer that was supposed to be booked with youth camps. So it breaks our heart that youth can't, they need so much to come away and, and, and play and be away from their cell phones and all that, you know, and listen to, to Bible teaching every day. And that's what we're here to provide. And we're not by law allowed to provide it. So um, for God's provision and for wisdom as we seek to op reopen, um, Wow. Those are the main things. Well, we will definitely be praying for that. Thank you. And uh, I can just tell you this for our sake, before COVID and anything else that happened, um, we were booking services, doing kids camps, speakers, and that sort of thing. Everything got canceled. Back in January, the Lord showed us that uh, this would be the year that um, we would find out that He is our source, not man. Amen. And I think so, that's one th good thing that's come from this is I think um, our self-sufficiency has been stripped away, and when that happens, we see God's provision. We, we're dependent on Him all the time, but I think we forget. Um, and I think for Christians, it's been a good thing to remember where our sufficiency comes from. But for those who aren't Christians, their everyday distractions and sufficiency and pride has been strip, stripped away, and they're seeking. So what is life about? What what is there and christ is the answer amen amen well thank you so much i saw my wife just go by so i'm going to go catch up with her <laughs> okay hey thank you nice so much you, god Mike. bless you all right oh. see that sign behind me that is the greatest sign to a bicyclist <laughs>
taking a break on a major downhill. Well, I finally made it to Mitchell. I think it's about 50 miles for the day. Um, nothing better after a long ride than an ice cream cone and a glass of iced tea. Now all I need to do is find out where is Colleen. She's got to be here somewhere. Hey, good afternoon. I finally made it to Mitchell. Um, Pastor Mike on a bike. And as I was riding by, I met this gentleman and uh, um, the, the look of the guitar, um, the, the resemblance, uh, it reminded me of Willie Nelson. And um, he also writes his own music. And uh, so I, uh, I asked him if he could uh, maybe play us a little bit. Mm -hmm. This is a throwaway song. for your next throw You wrote that. I love that song, and I, I especially I uh, um, the way you do it. It's you. I mean, you know, it captures you. Um, a lot of feeling in that. Well, I'll tell song, you this you know. because um, you look around us and you see what God made. Mm -hmm. uh, God's very creative. Well, of course. Um, we He's were created, farmer. and we were created in His image. Well, yeah, we look like Him. And so, what happens is, um, well, God said, "Let us make man in our image." And so well, when, when you do, you're in a human image. You're not in your air body. Well, what I'm your saying, your air though, body's what you were created in. You know, not right. not this. This is a throwaway, and it's about ready to be get thrown away because <laughs> the end is coming real quick. That's true. Hey, I mean, well, look at this deal with the virus. Uh -huh. The thing, what the Bible says uh -huh. is, it's gonna. There's gonna be a one world order. Yeah. Well, the virus almost, I thought it'd always be wars or something, but the virus almost shows you right now how quickly it could happen. So are you a believer, um, uh, believer in Jesus? Oh, of course. You have Jesus in your heart? Well, 
Papa's my yeah. my father. You've committed your life to Christ. You're serving the Lord. Oh yeah. All I've right. been doing it all my life. Yeah. No, you don't have to be anything but a good old boy. Everybody has all these rules and things. That's hogwash. Uh -huh. Be a good person. That's it. The rest of that stuff's forgivable and and all that. You know, they make so many rules. Jesus said the Pharisees had so many rules, no one could ever go to heaven. Yeah. You know, so. Well, um, anyway. Hey, well, I'm that's just enough religion for one day. No, that sounds good. But well, um, thank you. Uh, we're riding across the country, and I just wanted to know if there's anything I can pray with you about. Oh, I'm good. I say my prayers every morning. Amen. Well, it's fun talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're we're just outside of Mitchell, Oregon. And I'm standing overlooking some of the most amazing scenery I've ever seen. It's got its own unique, special beauty, the painted hills. And I think when God created this place, he had something in mind. Um, what I find so amazing is that as I look around uh, the landscape, it's so amazing to go bicycle through so many changing uh, backgrounds and scenery changes from deep thick rich forests to um, painted deserts to dry prairies uh, it just tells me that uh, uh, this state is very diverse and and very unique kind of like a lot of people I know it's also been fun to just talk to all kinds of different people different backgrounds different ways of life uh, and just listen uh, to, to their story and find out what's important for them and the things that God is doing in their life. And my prayer as we pray across this state is that the Lord can just bring a mighty outpouring of His Spirit, reveal Himself to people, and uh, um, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Let's hang on. Let's, let's go.